We're now at that point in the night where we are clearly seeing Labour gain seats. We're seeing other parties gain seats. Liberal Democrats have won seats. We've seen Reform UK win seats. But what's rather interesting is that we are seeing some of the big hitters from the Conservative Party lose their seats. For example, Penny Morden in Portsmouth North. This leads to an interesting phenomenon where you begin to view the runners and riders for the Conservative Party leadership and you get to see whether or not they're actually going to be in the party, in Parliament, going forward. So some of those big names that we've been talking about for months, about potential leaders for the party after Rishi Sunak, now we're getting to see whether or not they're actually in Parliament. And that obviously makes a very big difference. If you want to challenge for the leadership of the party, then essentially you need to be in in order to do that realistically. So some of the, the big names that we've been talking about, such as Penny Morden, for example, now find themselves at a real disadvantage going forward because they simply are not in the race to be the leader in the same way because they aren't in Parliament anymore. We're also seeing other people really begin to set the tone of the campaigns that they want to fight. So, for example, Suella Braverman, in her speech at the Hustings, talking about the mistakes that the Conservative Party have made. So we're at a very interesting point in the night. 